Hello friends, Zachary Stockhill here from RetroactiveJealousy.com. If you've been enjoying these videos, if you'd like me to keep doing this, please take a minute to let me know. Click the like button below. Also be sure you are subscribed to my channel. Okay, today I'm answering an email from Somil. Somil writes, does our partner compare our sexual performance with their ex mentally? Okay, Samil. The obvious answer is I have no idea <laughs> because I don't know your relationship, I don't know you, and most importantly, I don't know your partner. However, my hunch says no. And here's why. How often are you comparing your current partner to your ex? I can speak for myself and say that with every relationship I've entered, I'm not going around all the time comparing my current partner to my ex. Of course, there's moments where you notice differences and you notice trends, things like this. But especially in bed, if I'm having a good time with my partner, I'm not you know, mentally comparing them to my ex. Especially if you're someone like me who hopefully every relationship you enter, you're finding people who are better suited to you, you're learning more about yourself, what you want and what you don't want, and hopefully your partner feels the same. They feel like they're moving forward in life. They feel like they're getting to know themselves, their needs, their boundaries, their desires better. And thus, hopefully we're both kind of moving along and moving up in the world as we date. So what I'm saying here is if you're with someone who's telling you that you're the best for me, our sex life is amazing, I'm so glad to be with you, you have to trust them. You have to trust their taste. You have to trust the choice that they're making when they're choosing you. So many retroactive jealousy sufferers fall into this habit of constantly questioning their partner's devotion to them, attraction to them, all of these things. And if there are genuine issues in your relationship, for example, if your partner is genuinely not attracted to you, if you have a really mediocre or perhaps even non-existent sex life, these are very, very serious problems that might indicate that you're both in the wrong relationship and you'd both be better served by being with different people. But otherwise, you know, you didn't provide any more context, but so often I get emails from retroactive jealousy sufferers who are evidently with amazing partners who are deliberately choosing them and who know very well that the retroactive jealousy sufferer, the person writing to me, these people know that their partner really is the best choice for them. They have an amazing sexual connection. They're incredibly attracted to them. They have so much fun and often these people are constantly told by their partners, you're the best for me, I've never felt like this before, etc, etc. And when you doubt that, when you try to poke holes in that, when you constantly question them, when you're constantly looking for reassurance, A, it's very unattractive and attraction is extremely important in any long-term relationship, regardless of what anyone tries to tell you, everyone you know, places the emphasis on communication. Communication is extremely important but attraction is even more important in certain ways. So it's very unattractive when you're constantly poking holes in their argument that you're the best for them, when you're constantly doubting what they're telling you. And number two, it's actually very insulting to feel like you're trying to give your love to someone, you're trying to tell them that you're the best for them, you're trying to you know, reassure them and give more of yourself, and the person just keeps rejecting you, keeps doubting you, keeps not trusting you. This is very insulting, and this is only gonna create distance between you and your partner. So the short answer is, if your partner is telling you that you're the best for them, if you have an amazing sexual connection, if you have an amazing relationship, for God's sake, trust that. Enjoy it. Relish that. You're enjoying something. You're having an experience that so few people get to really have, an incredible connection that's deep and meaningful and that's unlike anything else before. So enjoy it. Relish in it. And don't doubt your partner when they tell you that they love you, when they tell you they've never felt like this before. Because if you're not going around pining for your ex or thinking about your ex all the time, chances are very, very good that your partner isn't pining for their ex, comparing you to their ex, or wishing they were in a different relationship because they're with you. And chances are very good they're very happy with that. So thanks for your question. Thanks for watching this video. If you got anything out of this, please be sure to click the like button below. Also be sure you are subscribed to my channel. And I'll talk to you again very soon.